park filled with dangerous animals, you'd think it would be the big guys with claws and teeth who'd be the most feared. Not so. As our cameraman found out last summer. These Cameroon sheep were terrorizing the neighborhood. I have to say, ow! Suddenly, headbutting everything in sight. Um, yeah, that looked really cool. Cecil, the chief nutter, became a viral sensation. The clips now had almost two million views. Although this boisterous behaviour is fairly common, the park decided to castrate the rams in the hope it would calm them down. But our crew still weren't taking any chances. I thought perhaps you might need this. <laughs> but has the castration been a long-term success, or are they back to their rambunctious selves? <laughs> Tina, what's this I see? Uh, this is uh, your good old friend Cecil. A transformed Cecil. I mean, no one in their right mind would crouch down next to Cecil. <laughs> So they're now fully castrated boys, yeah. and thankfully, by removing all that testosterone, we have a reformed Cecil. It's I mean, but also, all of them seem actually much more relaxed and, and much more kind of chilled out than they were before. They're lovely and calm. Uh, the only problem is, usually as the males, they have the big, big bushy mane yeah. um, of the Cameroon, but because they've lost their testosterone, just like in some of our lions, if you do the contraceptive there, they lose their mane or the colour. Unfortunately, they haven't got the beautiful mane that they used to have. Cameroon sheep are one of the rarest breeds on the planet, originating from West Africa. But they still look very handsome, don't you, Cecil? And I was going to ask you, because they look like they have been shorn because most sheep are shorn at this time of year. Have you shorn them? No, these guys actually, I mean, Bomani here, who's still got all part of his hair yeah. going on, this is all naturally their winter coat. When they come into the winter, it does thicken up and they do get a winter coat. Right. Um, still got a little bit left on Bomani there. Right. Um, but they, so they basically shed their winter coat in the way that, you know, lots of animals do, rather than needing it shorn off. Yes, so, um, yeah, these guys are hair like you would goats. Right. Um, not like the wool we see in the sheep we have oh, okay. um, and that's one of the adaptations they have for living in the climate of Africa where they're originally from. Cecil and co are now taking a more laid-back approach to life. They've even made friends with some new neighbours. You've put them in with tortoises and guinea fowl. Yeah, they, you know, they, they've calmed down really nicely and it makes exhibits are exciting and yeah. what we like to do. Yeah. And, you know, they have become more uh, comfortable with people. They get people, keep us coming in to see the tortoises, to keep them to see the guinea fowl, to see them. So we're in here a lot more with them. Yeah. Guests are going down and seeing them. So all in all, castrating them and socialising them a bit more, fingers crossed seems to be working. Well, Tina is an absolute transformation and although, you know, Cecil did make us laugh for a very, very long time. He still does that, he still does that. I suspect it's probably better that you behave this way. You are a good boy, aren't you? Look at that tail wiggle. <laughs> Look at you. Are you saying, where's Mark? Where's the <laughs> cameraman? Let me get him. Oh. Finally, it's calm with the Cameroon sheep.